As of March 24, 2020, the World Health Organization reported a total of 372,757 confirmed cases of COVID-19 globally, with 16,231 deaths. There are now 49,444 confirmed cases in the region of the Americas. The affected region includes Dominican Republic with 245 cases, Haiti 6, Barbados 17, Jamaica 19, Cuba 40, Dominica 7, Grenada 1, Trinidad and Tobago 51, Guyana 5, St. Lucia 3, Antigua and Barbuda 1, Bahamas 4, St. Vincent and the Grenadines 1, Guadeloupe 62, Martinique 53, Puerto Rico 31, and the Cayman Islands 4. St. Lucia has a total of three confirmed cases of COVID-19. The first two cases have since been repatriated to the UK between March 24th and 25th, 2020. The third case has recovered but continues to be in isolation to reduce possible transmission. The Victoria Hospital commenced the move to the OKEU Hospital today, March 25th, and is scheduled to be completed by Friday, March 27, 2020. The public is advised to utilize alternative medical services during this period. The government of St. Lucia has instituted the national country scale down from Monday, March 23, 2020. The public is advised that this measure is put in place to facilitate social distancing, that is, to reduce direct person-to-person -person contact. It encourages a greater than usual physical distance from other persons or objects in public places in order to minimize exposure and reduce the transmission of infection. Measures to facilitate social distancing includes school closure, use of essential services only, non-attendance to masquerade activities including sports, church, social gatherings, closure and avoidance of recreational activities such as beach lines, avoiding public places, avoiding regular trips to the supermarket, and reducing visits to your home by friends and family. A special appeal is going out to the public to stop the sharing of fake videos and voice notes. Apart from it being dishonest, it creates an unnecessary level of panic which is counteractive to the behavioral patterns we need to be adopted at this time. We continue to advise the public on the maintenance of standard recommendations to prevent the spread of infection. The Department of Health and Wellness will continue providing regular updates on COVID-19.